Ambush! Their numbers are overwhelming. Surrender may be our only option. No! Don't give them an inch. your move, Captain. I'm aware of that, Mr. Spock. Damn it! Your choice was valid, Captain, but highly predictable. Predictable? Since when have I ever been predictable? That is precisely why the move was predictable, Captain. Another... Captain, we have received an emergency signal from a nearby space station. Please report to the bridge at once. Shall we finish the game later, or do you concede defeat? <laughs> you should know me better than that by now, Spock. I never concede. reversing the phase oscillation? That's the first thing I tried. I'm stumped. Over here! What's going on down there? The radiation from those binary stars is making communications difficult, but the station appears to be in some sort of distress. Hmm. Check off readings. They are operating on emergency power and are struggling to maintain altitude. Cause? Unknown, sir. Captain, they have issued a request for immediate evacuation. Then let's help them out. Mr. Scott, prepare transporters. I wouldn't recommend it, sir. Those stars are giving off too much interference. Unless we achieve manual lock, we might fry those little guys. Then we'll get them out the old-fashioned way. Prepare my shuttle, meet me in the bay. Aye, aye, sir. Captain, in spite of your seemingly endless desire to stretch your legs, I must remind you that you are still a Starfleet captain. This is clearly a job that Mr. Scott and a few ensigns could handle. But then I'd miss all the fun. Sir, the more prudent choice would be to stay on the Enterprise and wait for a response to our hails. Oh, you're right. Lieutenant Uhura, any response to our hails? None, sir. Well, looks like I'm going. Captain, I must insist. You insist? You know what, Mr. Spock? A change of scenery might do you some good, Captain. Come with me. Your shuttle's ready, Captain. But do you think it's wise to go yourself? I'm sure me and some recruits could handle this. Don't worry, Scotty. We'll be fine. She's hot. Down Always sick, makes me nervous when he says that. Spock gets suited up. Enterprise shuttle, confirming approach at 5 by 6. Maintain minimal safe distance. Affirmative, Enterprise. I'm picking up high levels of radiation from two binary stars. The whole space station would have been fried by those two stars by now. What the hell are they doing out there? Captain, the station appears to be outfitted with solar collectors, but they are unlike any I have ever encountered. Mr. Sula, do you have any clue what an experimental power station would be doing out here in the middle of nowhere? 
Negative, Captain. Whatever they're doing, Starfleet doesn't have any record of it. Preparing for final approach. Keep the engine running, Mr. Sulu. I don't think we plan on staying on that thing for too long. Aye, Captain. you were afraid you were going to miss him. Right. We need to get everyone out of here right away. Captain, we must find an alternate route. Very perceptive, Mr. Spock. Captain, we're picking up some strange readings. There appears to be some sort of anomaly. We kind of have our hands full. Anything we need to worry about right now? The readings are off the charts, sir, but I don't think so. Well, just keep an eye on it, Mr. Chekhov. Aye, aye, sir. from this side. <sighs> I am in your debt. Formalities are unnecessary. Please proceed to the shuttle bay for immediate evacuation. I must mention that many of these crew members appear to be Vulcan. Your point. With fewer than 10,000 Vulcans remaining, I question the logic of placing them on any type of experimental power station. I question putting anybody on this thing, Mr. Spock, Vulcan or not. Agreed, sir. The door is locked. Unlock this door from here. Pack that console.
Bach, try to hack that console. Assuredly connected. One catastrophe at a time, Mr. Spock. Over here! <laughs> 